five people have now died after Wednesday's events. Good morning, Washington's Kristen Powers is live for us at the Capitol right now with what we have learned about the officer this morning. Kristen. Good morning. So Brian D. Sicknick, that is the name of the United States Capitol Police officer who died after defending the Capitol during the riots that we saw on Wednesday. Here's his picture. He was 42 years old. The Capitol Police Department says he was with the department since 2008, and they say he passed away last night. He was injured while clashing with a mob of Trump supporters. Now, very early this morning, we saw an outpour of support uh, for the officer. We saw many officers with lights on coming to the Capitol, and there they stood in front of the Capitol by their cars and honored him in silence. Officer Sticknick's brother issued a statement about all of this. He says after a day of fighting for his life, he passed away a hero. I would like to thank all of his brothers and sisters in law enforcement for the incredible compassion and support they have shown my family. Now the United States Capitol Police as well as the Metropolitan Police Department's homicide unit and their federal partners, they are all investigating this death. We have seen tributes pour out on social media. So coming up in the next half hour, we'll show you some of those and we'll continue to follow this developing and truly heartbreaking story. Tonight, an AP source now saying that the Capitol Police Chief will resign next week after yesterday's failure to secure the Capitol. Now, that news coming as D.C.'s top federal prosecutor says that all options are on the table for charges against the mob that stormed the Capitol, including sedition. That as D.C. police release dozens of crystal clear images showing people wanted in that attack. Now at 11, two major developments in the Capitol Police Department. The first, it is saying contrary to other media reports, one of its injured officers involved in yesterday's chaos has not died. And the other is the department chief is resigning. Sund has been with Capitol Police since 2017, but has been an officer in our area for more than two decades. And in the wake of the deadly chaos at the Capitol, new fencing surrounds the building. Remember those barriers around the White House this summer? Well, now they're surrounding the Hill as security is being significantly beefed up leading up to Inauguration Day. ABC 7's Heather Graff is at the Capitol tonight. And Heather, you and your photographer, Ryan, were finding out firsthand about other new measures that have been put in place. Tell us about that. Well, Jonathan, I should start by saying we, of course, understand why that increased security is needed. But my photographer and I were sitting in the news car with our laptops, editing our story like we've done here in the district so many times before. Tonight, though, two officers came up. They knocked on the window. They were polite, but they basically wanted to know who we were, what we were doing. They asked us to show them our press credentials here. And at that point, they then moved on in their patrols. By 6 p.m. Thursday, crews appeared to be putting the finishing touches on a new seven-foot fence that will surround the Capitol grounds for at least the next month. The politicians and members of the public want answers about why this wasn't done days ago. It was just like, what's going on? Who, who dropped the ball? We heard that from D.C. resident Tim Hamilton as he jogged past the new barricades. And D.C. delegate Eleanor Holmes Norton expressed a similar concern. That is, has had plenty of notice. Capitol Police Chief had plenty of notice. Norton was not at the Capitol on Wednesday when a violent mob of the president's supporters stormed the building. <laughs> but from her home that sits just blocks away, she watched in horror as the riot unfolded. The image of the Capitol Police at the back door of the chamber with their guns drawn will live in infamy forever. A complete security failure that had Norton, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, and many others calling for the resignation of U.S. Capitol Police Chief Stephen Sunt. But he was caught flat-footed. And a few hours later, we learned the chief will in fact step down next week. We need to have an overarching report on what happened and not only what happened, but how to make sure it does not happen again. Scrutiny that comes as reinforcements are still being brought in. We saw dozens and dozens of Virginia State Police vehicles arrive in the district on Thursday night. And the U.S. Army Secretary says 6,200 National Guardsmen will be here by the weekend. 
And right now you're looking at that new security fence that now surrounds the U.S. Capitol building. We should also mention Delegate Holmes Norton plans to introduce a bill that would establish a nonpartisan national commission that would fully investigate the attack on the Capitol, similar to the commission that was formed after 9-11.